Hello and welcome friends. Today we are going to cover one of the important topic in engineering drawing that is projection of lines. Because projection of lines will be required in projection of planes, projection of solids, section of solids. So guys, it's very important to understand the basics of projection of lines first. So before we are going to start projecting lines, we must know how to project point on vertical plane and horizontal plane. We will try to cover projection of point first. Now these are the two different planes, two mutually perpendicular planes. One is vertical plane and second one is horizontal plane. Now these two mutually perpendicular planes are divided into four different quadrants. First. This one is the first, second, third, and then fourth. Now, in today's lecture, we are going to cover the problems which are involved in first quadrant itself. So, whenever any point is kept in first quadrant, we can project that point on this vertical plane and on this horizontal plane. I have taken any random point A here, which is at a distance of 45 mm above horizontal plane, and it is kept. 20 mm you are as an observer you are standing always in front of vertical plane and you are looking in this direction so that you can project that point on vertical plane so once you are trying to project that point on vertical plane you get projection on vertical plane that will be at a distance of 45 mm itself from xy line now we are looking from the front so we will name this point as small a dash the a would be written in small letter and it should come with dash here so a dash is what the front view of actual point capital a when you'll be looking from the top you'll get projection of this point a in on a horizontal plane point is small a now because actual point a was kept 45 mm above horizontal plane so its front view point a dash will be 45 mm above this line xy line i'll name this line xy which is joining this vertical plane and horizontal plane so a dash can be plotted at a distance of 45 mm above xy line similarly point a which can be at a distance of 20 mm from xy line as actual point a was kept 20 mm now we want to project this point in front view and in top view so we need to rotate this plane horizontal plane clockwise by 90 degree so that it can overlap with downward vertical plane and you get the projection of point in downward direction now here we have drawn xy line which is joining vertical plane and horizontal plane whatever we are getting on left hand side that is the actual projection point a that we are supposed to draw with respect to xy line on right hand side so once you draw the xy line at a distance of 45 mm you will get point a dash So we can draw the projector line from point A dash and on this projector line itself we are going to mark point A that will be at a distance of 20 mm below XY line. So this is how we can project any point which is kept in first quadrant. If any case if the location of the point is different than the earlier one like here I am taking another point which is given in vertical plane itself. The point is lying in vertical plane itself but at a distance of 45 mm above horizontal plane. So once you are going to locate or once you are going to project this point on vertical plane, you are going to get point A dash exactly at the same point where point A is lying, right? And once you are going to draw its top view from the top, you are getting projection of point A on horizontal plane but will be exactly on XY line itself because it will be still it will be in vertical plane itself. So point A you will get on this line joining this vertical plane and horizontal plane. So simply we are supposed to rotate this horizontal plane again by 90 degree and we are supposed to draw the projection of this point A with respect to XY line. So we will draw XY line first and then by taking 45 mm distance we will plot point A dash. Once you get point A dash, draw straight vertical line that is the projector of point A and as you know point A is coming exactly on XY line you can mark point A on XY line itself 
so this is the projection of any point which is kept on vertical plane similarly if any point is lying on horizontal plane you can see its front view lying on x y line you can draw a straight vertical line that is the projector line and whatever the distance it is kept in front of vertical plane that distance you can take downward of x y line to project that point a that would be the top view of the point so guys this is when we are going to project a point but now it comes to when we are projecting any line i'll take example here i have taken vertical plane and horizontal plane and i have taken one line here now this is a line ab which is right now which is parallel to vertical plane it is given so end a of line b ab is kept 10 mm above horizontal plane and and 25 mm in front of vertical plane so this is the point a location is given and ab line is given parallel to vertical plane this line is making angle 30 degree with the horizontal plane so this is the data given with this line once you are trying to project this line on vertical plane from the observer's direction you are getting projection of line ab of the true length why it is a true length because the line is given parallel to vertical plane once you are going to project this line from the top you are getting apparent length of line ab on horizontal plane so this line ab is a top view of the line even though this line ab in top view is a apparent line but you can see this line is parallel to xy line or it is this line is parallel to vertical plane so now we are supposed to draw the projection of this line a dash b dash and ab in front view and top view respectively suppose we have rotated this horizontal plane so line ab can be seen in downward direction so we will draw x y line first now with respect to x y line we can mark point a dash which will be at a distance of 10 mm above x y line and point a 25 mm below x y line once you get this both the points now it's time to draw the actual line a dash b dash we know a dash b dash should be of true length but what would be the angle made by this line this angle would be the same that actual line is making with the horizontal plane that is 30 degree now we know that a dash and b dash are coming on the same projector line similarly b dash and b will come exactly on same vertical line itself because it is a projection of that point in top view so we will draw a straight vertical line that would be the projector of point b but we know in the top view line ab is parallel to xy line so we will start drawing a line from point a which will be parallel to xy line wherever it will meet that projector of b that point will become point b so this is the front view and top view of the line ab which is parallel to vertical and makes an angle of 30 degree so in short we'll see if line is parallel to vertical plane we get two prediction true length can be seen in front view as you can see here line is parallel to vertical plane we can see true length in front view and second of second prediction is that its projection in top view would be parallel to xy line this is xy line this line is parallel to xy line now in another case if line is parallel to horizontal plane the the prediction will be reverse like true length can be seen in top view and that its projection can be seen parallel to x y line in front view so guys these are the basics of projection of lines which will be required in solving complex problems on projection of lines in the next video we will see the projection of line when it is inclined to both the planes because just we have seen when line is parallel to one of the plane and inclined to another plane how it can be projected on a vertical plane and horizontal plane now in the next video we are going to see If line is inclined to both the planes, how we can project that line on these two planes? So I will be back with projection of lines when line is inclined to both the planes. So keep practicing, guys. Thanks.